Hi Cubies, here's Alexander again, and in this video we will talk about monopose models. Well, it's no secret, uh, Games Workshop has, uh, well, uh, developed a way from uh, the multi-part, uh, uh, multi-pose uh, miniature kits um, and uh, gone towards, uh, towards a um, monopose model uh, variation. So you see that uh, in all of uh, GW's uh, uh, miniature lines, um, the newer models, and uh, I guess it started uh, right at the point uh, where they uh, introduced uh, to us the um, Putrid Blight Kings. Um, those were uh, kind of uh, one of the first models uh, of this era. And uh, as you can see here, um, this is one of the uh, Putrid Blight Kings. And uh, what Games Workshop has done here is uh, they have uh, built miniatures in a monopose, but with options. So um, for this miniature, you have one back piece. <clears throat> then you have uh, two different uh, front pieces you can use. You have uh, uh, at least three different head options for each of the back pieces. <clears throat> and then uh, you have uh, um, two weapon options on each of the arms. So uh, in total you can uh, make um, at least nine different uh, miniatures uh, out of uh, one back piece. But uh, in the end all those nine miniatures will look almost the same pose-wise, only the weapons are switched. So, <clears throat> um, since then uh, Games Workshop has uh, even gone away from these options here and uh, focused on absolutely monopose models. This here is an example for that here uh, from um, uh, Warhammer Underworld's uh, Beast Grave, uh, here the Worm Spat, uh, these miniatures are only built in one specific uh, order. <coughs> also, uh, several of Space Marines. And uh, here you can see now uh, what I have done to uh, counter that. This here um, was a sergeant uh, from the easy to build uh, kit from uh, Games Workshop, and um, he had um, a bare head and uh, the helmet here on the side, uh, finger uh, pointing in front and uh, the bolter at the side. And uh, well, as you can see, it is possible to change that. <clears throat> so there are uh, several different ways uh, to uh, obviously change your miniatures even in the monopose era. So um, easiest examples for uh, here, uh, here's another uh, of, the, of the Putrid Blight Kings and as you can see he has a different arm. This one, this arm, is not from uh, this model kit. What I've done, I've uh, simply taken the arm off of this dude here. This is a simple box walker and, uh, well, Nurgle players have hundreds of those uh, around and I just uh, took the arm and uh, attached it to this dude. And this arm, well, I attached it to this dude because why not? See, it uh, fits, it's uh, still some kind of poxwalker with a grotesque mutation. And um, what I'm trying to say is, uh, even though the uh, miniatures have a monopose, they still uh, follow um, the uh, principal guidelines of uh, the uh, separate uh, miniatures, the uh, multi-part kits from the past. Um, for example, here, I have uh, simply switched out um, from uh, two Death Guard Marines uh, the weapons and the backpack. So uh, what I've done here, um, as you can see, uh, this here was the shoulder pad uh, what uh, was attached to this uh, power fist and uh, this arm here was attached to this shoulder pad part. Well, why don't I have uh, just switched the entire arm uh, from one part to the other, uh, but instead cut here? Well, um, as you can see here, this uh, multi-part kit is divided here in the middle, in the shoulder pad, and it was only uh, the front part where the bolter was attached. So, in order to make that work, I had to cut the bolter away and then uh, attach normal an arm to it. 
So the only arm I had then uh, in my beats box was the arm that was previously on uh, this guy here. But there was an uh, entire shoulder pad attached to it. So I also cut that and then I simply whoop, switched uh, those arms around. Here on the other uh, side, uh, this was an entire arm here with shoulder pad. It was uh, just simply uh, take it from this guy and attach it here. Same goes uh, for the backpacks. Uh, they are simply uh, switcheroo. So, um, and uh, the only thing uh, that um, needed to be uh, some uh, hiding involved in uh, creating, um, well, the cut lines here, uh, I simply uh, took some uh, plastic putty and, uh, well, filled the gaps here. Um, I pulled uh, the um, the dropper bottle here a little bit to uh, create here this uh, spiky protrusions from the arm to uh, make it more uh, seamless here uh, for the shoulder pad. But you could uh, also use uh, simply green stuff and uh, attach a little bit of sand to it to make it poxy or <coughs> um, what have you. So uh, the uh, amount of um, uh, your ability to sculpt miniatures uh, will uh, determine how you hide those uh, cut lines. But uh, overall, it is actually quite easy to uh, um, to modify your miniatures even in the monopose uh, era. So uh, <clears throat> the gist of this video is just uh, well, don't be alarmed that uh, all the mon miniatures are monopose. Just be creative, look at the miniatures, look where the cut lines are and uh, what you could uh, possibly uh, achieve with some ingenuity. And uh, well, you will uh, create some unique miniatures like this one here. I cut, cut away the attached helmet and just uh, placed a, a shoulder guard on there. Here you norm uh, normally see those uh, things here in front of the shoulder pad. Um, to hide uh, the cut line where the uh, uh, helmet was. Attached a different helmet and ta-da! The uh, conversion was almost complete. I uh, cut away the uh, pointy finger uh, hand, attached a, a chainsaw with hand, and done. That uh, was the entire conversion. So, and uh, <coughs> also these were quite easy to create. These is, this is yet totally easy to create and th thus you uh, will create uh, your own unique miniatures uh, with just a few uh, little cuts, a little plastic cutter cut, a little bit of plastic putty and you're good to go. So don't be afraid to uh, modify your miniatures. <laughs> well I hope you like this uh, little video and we see us in the next video. Oh and by the way if you want to see uh, miniatures like that uh, that I uh, painted and uh, modified and all my day-to-day uh, -day, uh, updates on my uh, hobby stuff, then go to my Instagram. Link is in the video description. I post regular uh, photos of uh, all my stuff that I create and uh, they can get, uh, get up to date. So uh, until then, have a good one. You're Alexandra. See you.